Expect to see many more Tesla semis soon. In today's episode, we've got some exciting updates. If you've been thinking the Tesla Semi has been stuck in production hell since its 2017 launch, you may be right, but that's about to change. Once the new factory is up and running, production will ramp up fast. The big news? The upcoming Semi Gen 2 is set to blow minds with its new design, adjustments, and battery pack. Incredible stuff! Before we dive into Semi Gen 2, Let's address why Tesla hasn't made many trucks since the first deliveries in 2022, around 20 units, though neither Tesla nor Pepsi have confirmed exact numbers. Currently, Pepsi has about 36. By October 2023, Tesla had built roughly 70 trucks, mainly for internal use, with Pepsi as the main customer. So, why the limited production? First, Elon didn't yet have an automated electric truck production line. Truck manufacturing is mostly manual, which takes time around 70% of the work is done by hand, even in places like China and North America. Add in the complexity of electric trucks, and the process slows down even more. Another factor is delays with the 4680 battery. While Tesla is using the 2170 battery for now, Elon's goal is to switch to the 4680, which will significantly lower costs cutting production expenses by 20 to 30%, helping reduce the semi's rumored $250,000 price tag. The new technology and larger battery structure help cut material and manufacturing costs. The 4680 battery size allows for more energy storage, improving efficiency and reducing the number of batteries needed, which also decreases weight. A key factor for the Tesla Semi. Musk confirmed that external sales of the Semi will begin by 2026. If it's too expensive, orders will likely come mostly from large transport companies. Another reason we haven't seen more electric trucks is that the current semi remains a prototype still under evaluation by Pepsi, as Dan Priestley mentioned. Several modifications are needed before mass production. Until testing is complete, production will stay limited. So, what's the latest plan? In about a year, by the end of 2025, Tesla plans to begin mass production of the semi, aiming for 50,000 units annually, as Elon Musk has suggested. While 50,000 units may seem small for Model Y or Cybertruck, it's significant for the semi. Producing this volume in the Nevada factory alone is unlikely, but a new factory will address the challenge. Semi production will take place in both the existing Nevada facility and an expanded factory next door. Each year, Around 200,000 heavy-duty trucks are sold in the U.S., meaning Tesla could cover a quarter of this market with 50,000 units. Dan Priestley recently shared a rendering of the new semi-factory at Gigafactory Nevada, showing a facility with ample docking stations. Tesla has completed grading and drainage work and has finished laying foundation trenches for the upcoming factory, covering about a third of the total site. The floating floor spaces are crucial for distributing the weight of heavy machinery at the Tesla Semi Factory onto stable ground. Originally, construction was set to begin in January 2023, but the pandemic and other factors delayed it by almost a year. In January, Tesla finally started preparing the land, and by July, shipments of steel and materials had arrived, signaling progress. The expansion will add 6,500 full-time jobs and cost about $3.6 billion, increasing the factory's production space by 4 million square feet. Tesla plans to finish the factory by next year, with semi-truck production starting in late 2025. Priced around $200,000, the Tesla Semi has a real-world range of 400 miles, with reports suggesting it could reach 500 miles. By 2026, Tesla aims to produce 50,000 units annually. The Gen 2 Semi will bring significant updates. Currently, the trucks on the road are the Gen 1 day cab version, still in the testing phase. As Sawyer Merritt, a key Tesla investor, and Dan Priestley, head of the Semi program, revealed, Gen 2 production will begin soon in Nevada, and some issues with the current model are still being resolved. Despite its impressive ability to travel 500 miles on a single charge and set a record with over 1,000 miles in a day during the run on less competition, the semi's interior falls short in driver comfort. It lacks a sleeping area and amenities for extended multi-day routes, highlighting the need for a semi-gen 2. 
This new version will arrive once two conditions are met. The completion of the semi-factory and the expansion of 750 kilowatt mega chargers across North America. The upgraded semi is expected in 2025 with significant changes, starting with a redesigned cabin featuring a sleeper. The current central driver's seat has been controversial, with some finding it less practical compared to the left side seats of traditional trucks. While Pepsi drivers appreciate the central seat's visibility, they find the view of the rear and side somewhat limited. It's likely that Semi Gen 2 will move the seat to the left to improve space and add a sleeper feature. This redesign will also alter the truck's dimensions, expanding beyond its current 20 feet 9 inches in length, 8 feet 6 inches in width, and 13 feet in height. With the increase in size, Tesla will need to redesign the chassis and might face challenges with the truck's weight. The larger size could lead to an increased weight beyond the current 20,000 to 23,000 pounds, potentially necessitating a reduction in the battery pack size to maintain balance. While other Class 8 electric trucks offer ranges under 300 miles, the semi might reduce its range from 500 miles to accommodate the added cabin weight. What's your take on these potential changes? The Tesla Semi Gen 2 will overhaul its low-voltage architecture. The original Gen 1, launched in 2017, used 12 and 24-volt systems for brakes and lights, while the 48-volt system was still a distant idea. Now, Dan Priestley has confirmed that the Gen 2 Semi will feature the 48-volt architecture from the Cybertruck. This upgrade drastically reduces noise and vibration and enhances regenerative braking with higher voltage and lower current wiring. The 48-volt system is thinner, lighter, and uses less copper, reducing costs and weight, making the Gen 2 Semi faster and more efficient. However, it's uncertain if the larger cabin and increased wheelbase will affect the turning radius, potentially making maneuvering in tight spaces more challenging. Tesla hasn't officially announced a new battery for the Semi but it's likely they'll move away from the outdated 2170 battery. Elon Musk mentioned that the Semi won't use the 4680 battery either. The 2022 Model Y initially used a first-generation 4680 battery, but was deemed inefficient. Tesla then developed a second-generation 4680 for the Cybertruck, known as the Cybercell, and is now producing a third-generation 4680 with a dry cathode. This new battery pack made in Nevada is expected to be used in the semi, offering higher energy density and lower costs. If Tesla doesn't use the 4680 battery, they might opt for SATL's Shinshing Plus LFB batteries, which are faster to charge and cheaper to make. Tesla has reportedly received equipment from a Chinese supplier to set up a SATL LFB battery line at its Nevada factory, potentially for use in their pickup trucks. The next-gen Tesla Semi is expected to cost between $250,000 and $300,000. This price includes upgrades like a new sleeper cabin and advanced features. When Tesla launched the electric truck in 2017, it was priced around $180,000 with a 500-mile range. By 2022, with some units delivered to Pepsi, the price had risen to $250,000. Pepsi bought 18 units for $4.5 million. The updated Gen 2 version with improvements to the cabin, battery, and voltage architecture will add around $50,000 to the cost. While new Tesla models start high, prices usually drop as the market matures. Tesla is also expanding its manufacturing and charging infrastructure, which should lower semi-costs. Tesla estimates that customers could save up to $200,000 in three years due to lower maintenance and fuel costs. Electricity is cheaper than diesel, and electric vehicles have fewer parts, reducing maintenance expenses. Electric trucks are often seen as unsafe, but they offer more power and torque, making hill climbs safer and more efficient. Freightliner notes that long-haul truck drivers spend hundreds of hours a week in their trucks, and PepsiCo uses Tesla Semi trucks for daily regional routes. Upgrading the Tesla Semi will provide drivers with an exceptional experience, and many retired drivers believe that an earlier release of the Semi might have extended their careers.